guys, so welcome back to my channel. I am pre-filming videos once again, and today I wanted to talk about something that most of you guys can probably use, or have needed in the past, or can use this year. Um, this week a lot of my friends and people that I know have moved into college, and so I kind of wanted to do a funny slash how not to be an asshole in your freshman year of college video and this is just kind of random advice for college and how to be respectful and not be that freshman. Without further ado, I am going to get in to this video. I'm really excited to make this and if you guys want a more serious college advice video then let me know in the comments and I will do that as well. But this is just kind of a, a basic general overview of what not to do in college. Number one thing you guys sh should know in college is to always, always, always lock your door when you leave. I've had many instances where stuff has been taken out of my room or I walk in my room and somebody's in my room or you accidentally sometimes walk into the wrong room and it's just very uncomfortable. Um, we left our door open probably more than we should. A lot of my friends like to um, kind of collect in my room um, and I would come back from class and my roommate wouldn't be in there but my other friends would be in there just like hanging out on my bed and that's cool if um, you're really close with those people like I didn't really mind but I also suggest locking the door because you know it's kind of a little weird when people are in your room that you don't know and luckily me and my roommate both had the same group of friends so she didn't mind so much. It was still a little awkward and weird for both of us. So always make sure you lock your door, especially when you sleep. We've had people walk in on us when we're sleeping thinking they were in a different room. And just make sure you always lock your door. That's just basic common sense. Don't and also, don't be the asshole who walks into somebody else's room. Make sure when you open the door that you are in your own room. I feel like that should be just common sense, but I am speaking from my own personal uh, experiences in college, so I feel like I need to say it based on my experience. So a another very important rule that you need to follow to not be an asshole in college is just respect your dorm hall rules. We had quiet hours where everybody was supposed to be quiet, um, not like asleep, like you didn't have to be asleep, but you just had to be at a decent decibel level. And a lot of people disrespected this, including myself sometimes, I will be honest. But um, I believe our quiet hours started at like 10 or 11 during the weekdays um, and then it was like 1 a.m. on the weekends. I was guilty of this as a freshman because I stayed up really really late doing homework and I'm sure a lot of you guys will too but believe it or not there are people who actually go to bed fairly early um, to get up for school and some people actually get their homework done before midnight. Um, not one of them but there are people out there and so just be respectful of people in general, especially when you are living together. And just to go along with that, the walls in dorms are so, so thin. So please, please uh, just be mindful of what you're saying and be quiet because we can probably hear every word that you are saying if you are screaming it or talking very loudly. So if you don't want the whole hall to know your business, just keep the level down a little bit. Um, me and my roommate had this problem with our neighbors beside us. We could hear every conversation they ever had for the entire semester basically. So if you don't want the whole dorm hall or at least your neighbors to know your business, just talk lower. You don't gotta scream, you ain't gotta talk super loud, just talk lower and nobody will know your business. To go right along with this because there's lots of parts that I can get into with this one particular subject, but if you have people living above you or below you, just be mindful of that as well. Don't be stomping across if you're on like the fourth floor. Don't be stomping across the ground because the people above, uh, below you can hear and if you have people above you, don't be screaming and hitting the walls and that kind of stuff. Just be respectful of others and I feel like this should be common sense but basically what I mean by this is just be respectful of the people you live with because you're going to have to live with them 
for the entire semester at least or an entire year so just be respectful of them respect their privacy their quiet hours and don't be an asshole another thing that kind of goes along with this is if you guys share a community um, bathroom or a community kitchen or like a community any rooms that you have that are communal please keep them as clean as possible don't junk it up with your stuff so I talked about it in my dorm hall video but basically we had a communal bathroom on each side we had two communal bathrooms one on each side of the hall and we had a communal um, living area slash kitchen so if you guys have some kind of room like that especially communal bathrooms just clean up your your own messes um don't leave dirty dishes in the community kitchen don't leave all your stuff around the community living space or the living room or in the kitchen or even in the bathroom just don't leave your stuff around and if you make a mess clean it up this again should be common sense but it's not for a lot of people in college you um use the bathroom flush the toilet we had a problem with that in my dorm which i don't know why people who are in college don't remember to flush the toilet but flush the toilet if you leave hair or anything gross in the bathroom sink or in the shower clean it out just be a respectful person and again like don't leave your dishes in the sink don't leave your stuff scattered all over the kitchen or the bathroom or anywhere just be a organized person to the point where you are respectful of others who have to share this space with you and another thing that we kind of had problems with in my dorm hall is if you have problems with your roommates within the first couple weeks Deal with those problems then and don't drag it out the entire semester or the entire year. We had CAs, which are community advisors. I'm sure most of you guys will have RAs, which is resident advisors. Um, but whichever you have, go talk to your community advisor or your RA and let them know that these problems are happening. He or she will either assign you a different room or they will try and help you work out the problems that you guys are having but please just deal with these problems when they happen don't let it drag out for months and months and months because your friends and your other roommates and people in your hall will get tired of hearing about how crappy your roommate is so please don't be an asshole if you're having problems with your roommate either try and talk it out with your roommate or with your ra or find another roommate and move out. Another thing that didn't necessarily happen in my hall a whole lot, but if you have a significant other, don't have them move in with you. Don't let them move in with you, but have them around, obviously. But it's also very disrespectful to have them around, so much so that they become a part of your room and your roommate just kind of gets tired of it. Another thing as far as dorms go, if you have a community washroom like a um laundry room and it only has a couple washer and dryers then only use one i don't know why this was so hard on our hall we only had two washers and two dryers so people would go in there and fill both dryers with all their clothes and then there would be none for anybody else so again this goes back to being respectful but don't be an asshole who uses both washers and both dryers at the same time use one washer and take your stuff out put it in one dryer and then you know move on and let somebody else use the washer because there's other people on the hall that need to use it and also another thing with the laundry don't take other people's laundry out of the washers or the dryers unless they ask you to because that's how clothes get mixed up that's how clothes get messed up um because you don't know what a certain person might want their clothes on when you put them in a dryer or they might get lost and you might not get all their clothes out or etc 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 just don't touch other people's stuff even if you need to wash that washer that their stuff is in leave it there until they come back if they don't come back in a decent amount of time then go try and find them or ask around and see who is using that washer and remind them that their clothes are in there but do not take their stuff out unless they ask you to now let's get into some of the more academic side of things this is one that I am very very passionate about because I had girls a lot in my classes that would do this if you are in college go to class 
be on time and be present in your classes. Don't go to your classes 20 minutes late when the class is only a 45 minute class. Do not go to class and ignore everything that your professor is saying and be rude. Do not go to class and not have any of your stuff with you. Do not come into class and say that you forgot this and you forgot that and have to leave again. If you are going to be in college, be there for the right reasons and do what you're supposed to do. I would love to be able to wake up and go to a class right now and to get an education, but I can't because I can't afford to. So people who take advantage of their education really, really piss me off and it almost infuriates me and I had so many people when I was in college do this. They would show up to class, not be prepared at all, or would show up five minutes before the class ended or show up 10 minutes after it started and not be ready at all and it just really pisses me off because you guys don't realize how lucky you are to be in college and to have an education. Not everybody can afford to do that. So please, if you are going to college, do not be an asshole about it. So many people would love to be in your shoes. I know going to classes sucks sometimes and yes, I did miss a couple classes, but for the most part, I went to classes and unless it's a real emergency you should be in class and be present and be doing what your professors want you to do. Another thing that I really enjoyed to do in college was to participate in all the campus activities. We multiple dances, we had Latino night, we had um, a glow dance, we had a outdoor cookout, we had a canvas fun run which was like a, a color run. We had so much stuff that we did that was so much fun. We went on community hikes with our hall. Um, we went on so many different things. They had fun fairs and um, open houses and all kinds of different stuff. And it also gives you something to do to just be on campus and meet new people and have fun. Um, a lot of these events were really, really fun, and I'll insert some pictures in here of all the events that we had, but we had a lot of fun doing it, and usually we would go as a hall, or we would go as a group of friends. Um, we would all go together, and it was just so much fun. We also had like a talent show. Um, it was actually called a variety show, but it was basically like a talent show, and we did a skit on it um, as a hall. All guys in college act, and um, it was really fun. If I can find a clip, I will insert it here. I think there is a clip of it on YouTube somewhere, so if I can find that, I will insert it here so you guys can see it, but we just had so much fun doing so many different campus activities. Another thing, if you guys are going to engage in all the college parties, make sure you are with a buddy or a friend or a group of friends because college guys can get a little um, out of control and um, you don't want to be by yourself at a college party, basically. And also, be classy. Know your limits when it comes to being at a party. Um, that's just a must for any parties but especially at college parties and just have a game plan when you go into it and just have fun with it but not too much fun and also when you are drunk and you just came back to a party again be respectful of the people that are in your dorms not everybody likes to be in a party scene not everybody likes to drink so don't come in being all loud and rude and um obnoxious and drunk if you're going to come back to your hall drunk be respectful because you will get caught, first of all. Secondly, you just want to be respectful of others and not make a fool of yourself. And on the flip side of that, if you are one of those people who don't like to participate in parties or get drunk or anything like that, don't be a snitch on your friends um, or the people on your hall. Just either ignore them or ask them to be quiet if they are being too loud and just kind of let them do their own thing. Don't be a snitch. Don't get them in trouble. Another thing that freshmen should never do, and I feel like this should be a rule for all freshmen, never talk about high school in a sense where you're like, oh, in high school I had a 4.0, in high school I did this, in high school I was popular, or never wear your class ring or any shirts that have your high school on it. It's just kind of obnoxious. Even if you want to, because my senior shirt in high school was awesome and I'm in love with it, but just don't wear it around campus because nobody really cares. Nobody really cares if you were a straight A student in high school. Nobody cares if you were popular in high school. This is college, this is different, and we don't really want to talk about your high school, to be honest. Another thing that college freshmen 
should not do but typically do do is walk around in packs and again this was one that I am guilty of because when you get your group of friends you kind of stay in that group of friends and you walk around together. Don't be scared to get out on your own and do things on your own and meet new people. Don't just stay in a group because college is not like high school. You don't have to stay to one little clique. Um, not that there is really cliques in college but you don't have to stay to one group of people. You can go out and make tons and tons and tons of friends if you want to. So don't be scared to go and make more friends than just what your little comfortable group is. And those are all the tips I could think of when I was making my list. I'm sure there are plenty more that I can include in this, but I also asked some of my friends. So my roommate in college said, quiet hours are a thing, which we talked about. Uh, your walls are thin, we can hear you. Again, we talked about that. Oh, this is a funny one. You wouldn't think it needs to be said, but Pulling the fire alarm for no reason is not funny at all and that kind of happened in our dorm and the sprinklers went off and ruined a whole bunch of people's stuff. So don't do that. That's just an asshole move and don't do it. Another one that my roommate sent me was play your music but preferably not at the highest decibel physically possible at 8am. Again, that just goes along with the respect thing. Also, another one is to just keep up with your schoolwork. This kind of goes with the first academic one that I kind of mentioned. Don't be the asshole who rather go party and go do all these crazy wild things and not get your homework done. Just don't be the asshole who takes advantage of college for the parties. Um, college is not about partying. College is not at all about partying. And while you should be making memories and making friends, don't take advantage of it and don't throw away your education for it because a lot of people would love to have that kind of education that you guys are getting. Not take 8 a.m. classes, which I took 8 a.m. classes and did fine on my 8 a.m. classes, but that's because I had to because that was the only time my class was offered. So don't take 8 a.m. classes if you don't have to. Also, if you can, try and schedule your classes between like 9 to 5 because you'll be used to being up at that kind of hour. You want to schedule your classes where you have a little bit of time in between them but not a whole lot because if you're like me and you had, if your class ended at like 12 and you had another class at like 4 like I used to, then I would go back and take a nap and not want to get up for that later class. So basically what I'm saying is schedule your classes to where you have a little bit of time in between but not too much time to where you won't want to go back to class after the break. Another piece of advice, um, and this is not really an advice video completely, it's just a few tips, but another piece of advice I will give you is to bring Tupperware to your uh, cafeteria and put stuff in it. We didn't learn this till the end of the first semester, and guys, we were not really allowed to do this, but we did. We always found a way we would put something in our purse and set our purse like on our lap and kind of like scoot stuff in the tubbleware that was in our purse. Um, we're, we're not supposed to do that, but we did because again, you definitely spend enough money in room and board that you should be able to take food from the cafeteria. So there's a very good piece of advice. And another really good one is to just, if you are walking, stay on the right side. There's kind of um, traffic when it comes to walking around camp college campuses so just kind of stay in your own lane like literally like if you are driving on a road you stay in your own lane so when you're walking through campus just kind of stay in your own lane if you guys want me to do a more in-depth college advice video let me know and I can do that but this one was kind of a joking one but also serious um, it also is real advice that you should listen to so please listen to it. Um, I can do a better advice video if you guys want, but this was just kind of a comedic way of giving you guys some tips. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up for me and leave me some other college tips that you would give your freshman self. Let me know if you want a another advice video or not. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!